Hello agents. So this video, it's really been driving me nuts that people are selling for thousands of dollars content and helping people generate leads for mortgage brokers and realtors. Because there's really nothing custom that they're doing. It's basically they're selling you a how to instructional tutorial guides for thousands of dollars and they didn't create or custom design anything. And so it just drives me nuts. Um, now, what they have, to give them credit, they have built ad copy, which is extremely important. But this ad copy for this kind of lead generation is stupid simple. Like, you don't really say too much. Uh, and your systems that you can use really do most of the heavy lifting. So what I wanted to do is to kick this off. This is going to be kind of like a 30,000 foot overview of those types of programs and what they're doing. This is not the content that they're selling, which is more of an instruction, inst instructional, there we go, instructional how to step by step guide. Now I'm creating this to see how much interest there is in the step by step guide, because I do want to warn you that I personally as a top agent do not recommend this tactic. And the reason why I don't recommend generating leads from mortgage brokers or realtors is that you're going to put a ton of effort and as the agent i would not recommend you do this as the agent there's just too much time consuming tracking monitoring building rapport i mean there's just too much that is involved in making sure this works because you need to be building relationships with your customers you need to be finding out how to generate leads for you as an agent um, so i really recommend maybe you hire or if you have a marketing person in-house they can try this and then you build rapport with mortgage brokers and say, hey, you're going to send them leads that they can work. But you need to be really cautious of how much time and energy you're putting into something as you as the agent or even your producers who should be selling insurance, not building leads for mortgage brokers. OK, and I would also challenge you into thinking about right. Maybe I um, so over the next few months, I'll build an actual how to tutorial for each part of this process just so you know how to do things. Um, but I would actually challenge you a different route in using these tactics is to work with a mortgage broker and, and not sending them leads, but say, hey, I'd love, I'm an expert when it comes to generating new business leads. And I actually know how to generate new business leads for mortgage brokers. I'd love to sit down with you and kind of show you what I, how I can help you grow your business and your marketing if you don't already know how. Um, is that something of interest to you? So what you just did there is I'm going to give you my time. I'm going to teach you new things that you might, if you don't already generate traffic through Facebook, I'm going to teach you how to do these things. If you have an in-house mortgage office, uh, you know, a mortgage broker, uh, marketing person, and I'm going to teach you and work with you and help you any step of the way that you need help with. And in return, I'd like you to help me and allow me to be one of the people that quotes your new business, right? Anybody who's getting a mortgage, I'd like to be uh, you know, a professional that helps you help your customers get the best rates possible, best coverage possible. And that might be the best method because now you're not working, uh, you know, there's no possible kickbacks or monetary value of what a lead might cost, right? Now it's a straight up knowledge uh, transfer versus sending somebody a lead after you build rapport. They might put a really crappy salesperson on those leads crappy salesperson doesn't even really work them, says they don't work. Now the mortgage broker thinks you're sending them shitty leads. And now it's a tit for tat. You suck. I'm not going to, yeah, I just don't like that. Right. So again, here's a 30,000 foot overview of what's going on. First thing that they're going to instruct you to learn is how to build custom pages on Facebook for your campaigns that you're going to generate really simple. So you can, I actually recommend um, building a new Facebook uh, page, like not linked to your main accounts and keeping it all separate, build a, a business ad manager on Facebook for your, your custom pages and your ads that you're going to run for lead providers, uh, loan officers. Um, you might want to keep that completely separate. All you do is you create a new page, name it what you're going to be targeting. So I might name mine Texas New Home Buyers. Then on the page, you're going to want to create posts specifically geared to educating consumers who are interested in your page name. 
So for something like Texas new home buyers, I'm going to Google search like secrets to buying a home and I'm going to, I'm going to spend some time. You need to do some time research here and linking really good URLs to content that people would be interested in reading. So here I said, uh, Dames Ramsey's, I'm sure he spent a lot of time on good content. So I linked his, created a post, amazing information for new home buyers. So you're gonna to wanna to create like five to 10 posts. That way when somebody sees your ad, if they click on your page and they go to your page, they go, okay, this, this person's linking really good information. They're gonna click on these posts. They're gonna read stuff. They might fill out your survey from your ad uh, because you, we're targeting them properly through good posts. Other things you're going to want to do is, um, you know, you'll want to edit some settings. So that way, like the right people are seeing your page only in the United States, like age 18 and up, things like that. You're going to want to just custom create your page. Things like uh, your cover photo, you want it relevant to the page name. So I might put an image of the house. I know people recommend using like fiverr.com you can have somebody for 15 bucks create cover photos, just tell them the topic and category. Um, you can also use Canva. Canva.com is pretty cool on, um, I'll show you here. It's like, it's free. You can use their editor and build out custom size. So like for a logo, 400, 400. Um, you just need to know the size of like what a cover photo might need to be. You can Google that in two seconds if you needed to and then enter in in Canva, it will create custom designs. And then you can download the image you create and put it on your Facebook page. Stupid simple, right? You just paid a ton of money to learn that. You don't need to pay a ton of money to learn how to create a Facebook page. So you created that Facebook page. Now let's see what's next. You're gonna build out a survey and a thank you page in which you'll then link your pixels so that you can track conversions. Um, again, so there's a system called Alchemer, Alchemer, and on Alchemer, you can create projects. You'll want to use their professional account. You can trial it if you want to, but you can create surveys on here. And on these, you can add questions to your surveys and you'll want to custom build out this survey around new home buyers, things that your mortgage loan officer is going to want you to filter down the right leads to buying a house. Do you rent or you own? When are you going to purchase the house? What's your price range? And price range is going to be relevant to your territory. If I'm doing this in California, I'm not going to say less than hundred grand. That makes no sense. But again, when people are shopping for a home, you know, if, if in Texas, this is probably going to be close to what I would put but again, um, you'll want to have different tiers. Are you already working with a realtor? This kind of question can generate leads for realtors. If they say no, work with a realtor, send them people that are looking to buy a house that don't already have a realtor. What their credit score is, you can add things like that. So you send good credit leads to loan officers and using Facebook Pixel, you'll be able to actually find um, which leads are creating good credit leads versus not good credit. And then you can create another ad conversion from the pixel that's showing that they're good credit leads and create a duplicate ad copy. And then Facebook pixel will recognize those types of people that are good credit. And it's just another way to enhance that next level of generating good credit leads for your mortgage brokers. You can work with credit repair people or even mortgage officers will have that in-house. Um, so that they can work with people and finally get them a mortgage. Uh, asking them for their information is important, right? And in, serve, in Alchemer, you can uh, validate, like, is it a phone number? Is it an email? Yada. Then you're going to create a thank you page. And on your thank you page, you'd link a, another pixel so that you know which pixel, uh, I'm sorry, which surveys viewed the thank you page, which means they completed the survey. So now they're an actual lead. Really simple sounding. And again, that's why you need a how-to tutorial video that we'll be coming out with and setting up each part uh, of that system. Once the leads start flowing into your system, uh, right, which again, takes weeks. It doesn't take weeks to, to set up your ads to set up the, the survey. 
I mean, that might take three to six hours, maybe a full day, but it's the practice of monitoring it, maybe changing ad copy if you're not getting the response you want, um, and, and really thinking through the process, okay? That's, that's what takes time and effort and energy. Then determining which ones are converting into actual ads, which ones are converting into good credit leads. Then it's all about building automation because uh, you really want to have automation working in the background. And so I recommend her hooking up something like Alchemer Surveys to Zapier to then either send leads to your mortgage broker, mortgage broker's CRM they already have. And I mean, Zapier is connected with agency MVP. So we're working on a connection there with survey and landing pages. So you can have leads come into yourself if you're not, you know, if you're generating leads for yourself through ad campaigns or surveys, all sorts of ways that you can set that up on, on workflows and automations. And then you're gonna wanna start working with mortgage brokers and saying, hey, you know, I can generate leads for you. I can generate good credit, long form leads. These aren't people that, you know, aren't interested these are actual people that we can nurture and bring around. And then people in your survey, when you ask them, you know, when are they looking to buy a house? You're not gonna wanna send that lead to a mortgage broker if they're looking in six plus months. So then you can nurture it through your own systems um, and at least try to maybe get their renter's policy right now. And then you'll have them as a customer, as a renter or an auto insurance customer. And then you can work on their lead to send to the mortgage broker in six months. So really that's the big overview of what people are trying to sell you when they're talking about content on sending leads to mortgage brokers. It's not simple. It's not something I recommend, but it's something that, you know, some people, if you have really strong ties already to mortgage brokers who, you know, don't market, this could be a home run for you. Okay. But if you, if you don't take a lot of time in building this effort out, you're not going to see much success with it because there's a lot of back-end tracking of all the leads, of creating new pages, of trying new tactics. And again, as an agent, I recommend instead maybe learning all the how-tos because again, this knowledge of creating ads and surveys and whatnot is really good information to know. So if you want to build other types of leads, other types of campaigns, like maybe giveaway ads or something like that, you can. Um, or you could be the expert to the loan officers and teach people how to do this. Teach them how to do it themselves. And in hopes, in return, you now built rapport, you're friends with them, you're ongoing helping them instructionally how to, how to build out ads, best practices, and maybe it's only taking you an hour or two a week to, to take them out to dinner with their, more, with their marketing person uh, or stopping by the office instead of dropping off donuts, you sit down with the marketing person for 15 minutes. And, and now you've really built a relationship and not a tit for tat, you know, per lead basis relationship, right? And you didn't spend an enormous amount of time monitoring their marketing from Facebook Instead, you showed someone how to set it up and they are the ones that did all that heavy lifting. So that's the overview of what they're doing. Um, how to, again, how to videos will be coming soon, uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm just gonna take it from the top, how to create pages, how to create all the ads, how to create the landing pages, the, the surveys, and then how to set up automation around those things. So. Hopefully this gives you kind of like some insights into what's going on in the world of generating leads for brokers. Hope you have a good day.